The agency is a fun business in GTA Online, since you get access to some dope ways that you can make money with, uh, like a heist with Franklin and Dr. Dre, and plus you can also pet shop, which is a 10 out of 10 DLC in my opinion. In this video, I'll show you how to maximize your profits with the agency alongside some crucial tips. Alright, enough yapping, let's get into it. And before we can start, we're going to need to obtain an agency. How do you get an agency? Well, all you have to do is just you gotta head over to Dying State Executive. There are gonna be four agencies in different locations. And tip one, buy the agency that suits your specific needs, requirements, and financial limitations. You can always change your location later on if you ever decide to, but realistically, they all offer the same value. And when buying the agency, you're going to get extra additional things to purchase. Most of these are simply cosmetic and do not serve anything besides changing your agency's appearance. And if you got lots of money to spare, then you can definitely add some cosmetic things to make it feel like your own agency and make it look dope and the only three things from the agency that you must own are number one the armory and this is slightly different than other armories in the game because it's literally a whole room and besides that you can also just ammo tune up your, your guns upgrade them to mark 2 variants and have the option to buy body armor too next one is the accommodation upgrade or add-on whatever you want to call it what this does is, is it gives you a spawn location just like some of the other businesses in the game like I like the CEO office MC clubhouse nightclub and many more if you have some money to spare, I highly would recommend for you to buy this one because you can spawn directly here and buy armors, snacks, and start making money. The vehicle workshop, now this takes the agency from a 7 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. And here is why. Imani Tech Upgrades. If you are a newer player in GTA Line and do not know what Imani Tech Upgrades, it's basically upgrades that can be added to some of the vehicles in GTA Online, and you have the ability to add armor plating which helps you survive against reefers and increase the durability of, of said vehicle. You can also add a missile lock on jammer and what this does it prevents players from locking onto your v vehicle and the add-ons combined with the vehicle with vehicles are your best friend when grinding or just cruising around los santos in a public lobby and make sure you purchase these three upgrades as they will improve your experience in gt online drastically now let's present some of the best ways that you can make money with the agency there are lots of ways on number one we have the security contracts and to start you need to you need to head over to your agency office then go over and go here where it says security contracts and you're gonna have three different security contracts i would recommend free to always pick the one that pays you the most and there are different payouts for each level there are professional which pays you 31,000 to 42,000 specialist 44,000 to 56,000 specialist plus 60,000 70,000 the levels ain't nothing special it just slightly increases the difficulty but I do I do not think you're gonna notice it because I, I personally never do and just make sure you pick the one that pays you the most amount of money and, and this will ensure that you make the most amount of money possible shouldn't take that long to complete as they do tend to be extremely easy for some of them easiest one for me, for me at least are the vehicle recovery and recover valuables for the vehicle recovery my favorite one all you have to do is just you gotta go to a warehouse guarded by some fellow gang members show them your pinky gun and just look for the car keys and take the car and deliver it back to your agency recover valuables is slightly different too it basically consists of you going to a club it can be any type of club in gt online and then you're gonna have to take out some fools and bring back the valuable that was stolen which can be a watch a necklace etc and the second method is the agency wall safe it's similar to all wall safes in the game they get kind of different this is a good way to make some passive income in gt online while you grind out some other things in the game and the safe max is out at 250,000 and you can earn 20,000 every 48 minutes and that's and that's an in-game day but unfortunately it's not all that you're going to have to get dirty first meaning you're going to have to do lots and lots of security contracts every five security contracts that you complete you're going to earn $500. So this means they're going to have to complete at least 201 security co uh, contracts, earn 20,000 every 48 minutes. Yeah, yikes. That's a lot of work. If you are determined enough though, you can generate lots of money from from the safe while letting your, cell, your safe fill up and, and you can do a quick payphone hit mission. And now before we continue, I need to let you know that the payphone hits were unfortunately <coughs> nerfed a while back and they went from 85,000 to 45,000. It's a drastic nerf, but you can still make some good money. And basically you can start by calling your boy Franklin and request the payphone hit and then you are set. The payphone will spawn next to you somewhere around the map. On, on the payphone Franklin will basically just yap about stuff and then you'll have to get the assassination bonus and this will give you the extra 30,000 because the payphone hits pay you 15,000 normal. And then you'll have to complete the bonus that varies from lots of things like killing multiple targets, drowning the taxi and many more. While your target dr drowns, he head over to your agency and start the final way that you can make money with which is the Dr. Dre heist. Do you guys think that he's a real doctor? Like I've been wondering 
conundrum ever since. Once in your agency, go over the VIP contract and you'll have lots of lots of things to do. And you gotta do, and you first gotta complete these two down here. You will have to complete them only one time and never again. So focus on these three leaks. And for each leak that you have to complete, there are gonna be two setup missions and a finale. And these missions will be combat heavy. So make sure you purchase enough snacks, ammo, and body armor to ensure that you don't fumble like I do. Once all the leaks are, are completed, you will have two more missions that you need to do. And you can start them from the agency at the back of Franklin's office. And overall, this you this is not gonna take you that long to complete. And once you're done, you're gonna get the easiest $1 million. And if you are wondering, yeah, yes, the heist can be done multiple times. They're kinda neat. While you're doing the setups, your goal is just to want to have some sort of passive business that is set and generate you some profit at the back. That's where the nightclub comes in, which can bring you hella money if done, done correctly. So make sure you click in one, two, three.